perfect example of clickbait. Oh yeah, I was Click. I was reading the Times of India, and the headline said, "Baton cut out of SRK taken down." The story reads, because it was blocking a security camera. <laughs> Boycott. Hey. Just Welcome back to our stupid reactions with Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to our Patreon. Follow the official Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. That's why he put this one up. To block the security camera. Yep. And today... Charlie Puth could tell you what note that was. Five. Uh, so this is actually something I believe happened at the Golden Globes or, or somewhere. But it's James Cameron talking to S.S. Rajamouli uh, at a, a function. And so um, it, it's been going all over the interwebs and their conversation. Uh, just, I think, him talking about RRR to S.S. Rajamouli, cool. um, which is really cool. I mean, there's not really a bigger director in the world currently just because of what the movie's doing. <laughs> That's, I did not say he's the best director in the world. I, do, I don't think that in the slightest. But in terms of biggest, in terms of... Yeah. I think it just, for India, passed the... It did. It's the largest... Hollywood opening ever, ever. Um, and it's now on. It's just past Endgame to be number five all time. He's going to hit the magic number that he needed. He's about to hit the two billion mark. That was the break even when you include advertising and everything. And he said in an article on Variety, Cameron said, "Well, I guess I have to continue with the sequels." <laughs> <laughs> um, but the. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just them apparently, and somebody did sub it. So, um, not because our... because James Cameron clearly is going to need to be subbed. No, it's because they're so far away. Yeah, okay, because it's not like an official interview or right, anything. right, right. It's, it's just, just them talking off hand, yeah, uh, and stuff like that. So, that's what this is. Let's just check it out. Hopefully, he votes for it for best picture at the Oscars. Yeah, that that is um, just today. Variety put out this thing about the mathematical probabilities of what should get nominated. And they have seven films that they think will, but then in the, in the next three spots, one of the mathematical probabilities that is very high is freaking RRR. It would be great. Yeah. That would be awesome. I would lose my mind. Here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, the audio is terrible. Audio is awful, awful. He said full tilt. The subs aren't accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's seen it twice. <laughs> no second unit. 
put it and you composed, right? Yeah, because I saw you at the book clubs. The, the score is it's kind of amazing because I like the music to kind of a little bit stay out of the way and kind of come in and support. And when the, and when the audience is already feeling something, then it fulfills the feeling. If you're using the music very right, differently, Indian yeah. cinema does. <laughs> Music used to get the emotion. Exactly. Good point. Vladdy said that. Right on! <laughs> God damn right! Heck yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. And he wouldn't say that unless he meant it. No. Yeah. Uh, that would not just be bullshit. Honestly, that'd be probably a, a, a good producer oh, for perfect for uh for ss rajamuli film perfect if he person. if he wanted to do like a crossover hollywood indian yeah film. if he's got if as james cameron's gonna let him do what he wants to absolutely do. if rajamuli has a story that is the kind of story that could be marketed directly in such a way cameron is the guy who could help produce that yeah. for sure and he the bafta nominations just came out and <laughs> not surprisingly RRR was ignored and it just it's it just it's astonishing to me it's just astonishing to me super weird it's well it's just astonishing we're talking about honoring great artistry but yeah. it seems that the British still can't get over the fact that a film could depict them in a negative light <laughs> you know it's like oh you're gonna depict us in a negative light I don't think we're gonna really promote that that's how it feels when every other awards organization on planet earth has awarded this, not just nominated it, it's been awarded. It's super. It, it, it just, it screams, uh, we don't really want to acknowledge insecurity. any film that depicts us in a poor light. Yeah, it screams insecurity. Yeah, it really, for me, it made the BAFTAs go, yeah. in terms of, really, you can't look beyond your own stinking noses to recognize the artistic greatness in this, at least at, at some level for something. I mean, all Quiet on the Western Front deserves all the love it's getting. Yeah. But to ignore RRR, it was blatantly obvious that this had nothing to do yeah. with art. Yeah. That yeah. was uh, that was wonderful to see. To see it from currently the biggest filmmaker in the world yeah. in terms of the world seeing and, your movies, right? And especially not just the biggest in terms of the scale that people come to see it in, yeah. but the scale of his production. He, yeah. he, if someone were to say, who's the Rajmuli of the the visual spectacle it's cameron right yeah, now yeah absolutely he's the one that's that does why, the visual that's spectacle. why it would be a good uh, I, I i would imagine that i think what raj Muli was saying he's like he probably looked up to uh, oh, his work inspired uh, him inspired just because of how big and it's very similar in terms of just the grandeur of it yeah because even um, titanic there's moments that that it wouldn't surprise me if some of the the visual inspiration for some of the musical elements in Bahubali 2, they are very cinematically di similar to some of the more romantic shots of the mm -hmm. Titanic yeah. and the epicness of that. I'd, even though I would love it, obviously, if there was a crossover and maybe it'll happen, and but my concern would be it, he would have to have somebody maybe like a James Cameron who would let him, if he wants to tell an Indian story, yeah. just have a Hollywood budget, Yeah, let him tell that story. The great... Not... not interfere I, with what story he wants to tell. I that would be my concern. The, the great thing about if it was Cameron producing it would be, uh, and, and exec producing it, really being hands-on 
I think he would un undoubtedly allow Raj Mooli to just tell the story he wants to tell. And I think he would also be the first, and first person to tell everybody involved in production, do what he says or you answer to me. Yeah. Because he can be, like most directors, he can be dictatorial. And it's, yeah. it's my vision, and this is his vision. And yeah, the fact that he said what he said about how proud your people should be yeah. for this, I... Yeah, because that uh, would be great. that would be my concern. Is uh, Rajamouli one of the brilliant things about him is he's always made films for Indians. He's like this. My stories are for Indians. Yeah. If anybody else appreciates it, that's gravy. Yeah. I make a story for my people. That's that's wonderful. And so I think if Hollywood tried to do because we've heard stories from people in the industry that's like ba they try to get big name directors from India to do like a Fast and Furious film, and those directors that would they were trying to get aren't Fast and Furious style directors. No. Or they were trying to get them to do a Marvel film. And they're right. not a Marvel star. They were At just all. trying to get a this Indian, is true. Indian director to do a Hollywood film just so that and, it's a name. And understandably, Indian directors said no. Who, they, they're like, have you seen my movies? <laughs> I don't I'm make I'm not interested. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't make don't. that kind of film. No, there are people who make them. I have no problem with it, but I don't make the kind of film. And the other thing that's great that many of you probably have put in the comments already is that no, as powerful and predominant as a James Cameron is, Rajamouli doesn't need James Cameron. Oh, no. Absolutely not. At all. <laughs> no, that's all we're saying. The, the, what would be great is to have the Hollywood budget. Is production. to have the Hollywood budget and just deepen the penetration of Indian yeah, deep influence. That That's right. Deepen that influence in terms of there are still too many people who don't know about the greatness of Indian cinema, the greatness of a director like S.S. Rajamouli or a film like RRR, and they would need still someone like a James Cameron's name attached. There'd be producers here who probably haven't seen RRR and would, would not work with Rajamouli, even with all of the success. But if Cameron's name was attached, they'd go, oh, okay, I would do it. Yeah, so I'd be interested, but I would also be But he doesn't eerie. need it. Yeah, he definitely doesn't need it. Doesn't need it. Doesn't need it in the slightest. He has the biggest budgets that you can have. He doesn't have. need anybody here. Yeah, 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 at all. But it would just be cool, because that would be the crossover. Yeah. And if, I mean, if there's a director that's going to be doing it, I guess... And on the largest scale, yeah. it kind of has to be Rajamouli. Well, but, and it's what we also, want. I don't know if he wants that either. No, I think but, he might look like, I'm going to make my stories. Yes. If the West appreciates the next one, great. If but, not, I, I'm happy making my stories for people. But the, the thing that ex people. excites us about that prospect of collaboration is we've repeatedly said, especially on the acting front, is we want to see more Indian artists, especially the actors, but with Rajamouli, it's directing collaborating and working with the best of the best here in America. Yeah, we got And cross-pollinating that. I would love to see... We got Ali is coming out with Gal Gadot. Yes. Like, I, I would like to see Tom Hardy in an Indian film, and I would like to see Ali Abbott in a Tom Hardy film here. Mm -hmm. Vice versa. I would just love to see this total crossover of the best of the best working together and, and I feel like the blurring those lines. The other countries and regions, uh, industries around the world have that. They do. They do. The Korean, Especially the European ones. Korean films as well. Yes. Work with Chinese actors have worked here for a long time as well. A lot of French, a lot of German. Obviously, um, the British work granted, consistently it's, it's here. It's not a lot of the other way, though, right. in terms of Hollywood actors going to other cinema. It does, right. It happens more of like, I think it's more because the budgets we have here are kind of astronomical. Uh, it won't surprise me at all if there are name actors who have contacted Raja Muli and said, uh, would love to work with you. I think. And whether it's an Indian film or an American film. And if it was an Indian film and there was a right role, I think he could attract. I think I heard something about Chris Hemsworth or something. Is he with creative artists? I because that's a big one. A lot of deals become package deals within agencies. So I, I know SS Rajmuli is with creative artists. So anybody who is at creative artists, that would be a well, no brainer. What would be great is if his next films have Hollywood white actors in it. Yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. the world now, so we don't need to hire Q-list actors to, for your film. Q-list. <laughs> and Q-list. <laughs> Clueless, Q-list. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, for the king, put uh, 
<laughs> and yes, we know it's more expensive, but you get what you pay for, and it's worth it yes, to invest it, it and do it properly. That's w- some of the only flaws in in, in our Indian, is, in uh, Indian cinema in, ever. Uh, you you rarely years. find a Mark Bennington in in, yeah. in Indian cinema. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, that was great. I uh, love that. Uh, hopefully, it's a, a, a signal of more things again. And I know he's probably had. 10,000 conversations with big names. He like got to, this, I, I saw during him, this whole thing. I saw he got to take a, a photo with Spielberg and it was just beside himself. How, how would you not be? Our, uh, the, oh, the, the lady who uh, made our costumes for our million video just got to meet S.S. Rajamouli at. Uh, oh, did she? Because she dressed some people. Oh, great. Because uh, she's a. For she's, the Globes? Yeah, for the Globes. Yeah. She, she's a big time Indian costume designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so she just got to meet him. She just posted a picture and that's so that was That's awesome. great. Uh, anyways, uh, let us know what other videos we can react to down below.